This video is looking at the recent Moroccan earthquake that happened on September 8th of 2023. And just a quick shout out and just a my thoughts and prayers and regards go to the people of Morocco, people of Marrakesh and where the epicenter was and hope for a speedy quick recovery and hopefully um, injuries and the effect of the country is minimized but these awful horrible impacts from natural disasters happen all around the world and unfortunately uh, most recent has been in Morocco. So this video is going to look at what caused the earthquake and the tectonics involved and the details of the earthquake itself. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So this channel is dedicated to looking at earth science processes on the earth and one of the big units we look at is both tectonics and plate tectonics and the movement of the crust the plates and the engine of the convection currents in the upper mantle causing lithospheric plates to move and obviously the effect of that which is going to be volcanism and earthquakes or seismology and unfortunately we had the most recent earthquake in Morocco in uh, northern Africa uh, along a certain fracture zone which is called the Azores or Azores Gibraltar Tunisia fracture zone or the AGFC now this is a known fracture zone this is part of the larger system of tectonic margins and boundaries that kind of separate the plates either the connell plates or oceanic plates and we get a lot of a majority of the earthquakes occurring around these boundaries or margins where the plates are moving against each other or away from each other so for example with the Moroccan earthquake we have a set of plates that are around it we have the North American plate and South American plate to the west we have the Eurasian plate and African plate where these two plates are actually moving and causing the energy to build up in the in the, the, the rocks in the bedrock in the lithosphere and this is where the earthquake derives from the earthquake is the release of energy at the focus and the epicenter is the location on the surface right above the focus but the energy itself is being released from that rock from a tense environment of either compression or tension or a strike slip situation of, of creating this energy and it's being released instantly throughout the crust or the plate and causing the earth to shake which we know as the earthquake so the mid-atlantic ridge that is the main area of divergent plate boundary which is separating the north american south american plate from the eurasian plate and african plate and causing the atlantic ocean to form over millions of years and that is pushing the african plate towards the east and also the Eurasian plate towards the east however there is compression there is convergence between the African plate and the Eurasian plate which is causing this energy to build up and there's been previous earthquakes that occurred in this area in the past some very large so in particular the Azores Gibraltar Tunisia zone of fracture actually starts at the mid-ocean ridge at the Azores triple junction or triple breaking area or point and it moves in, in a in a uh, easterly direction or in between both Eurasian plate and the African plate and kind of connects into the Mediterranean and moves on into the Middle East as you can see on the far right of this image so in this map a bit more detailed we kind of zoom in on northern Africa and the Iberian Peninsula which contains Spain and Portugal and we're looking at the fracture zones and fault lines that are very apparent and large and there are smaller fracture zones and smaller areas off the main zones which do account for other earthquakes and movement along the plate boundaries and margins but these are the main ones so the other one is the mid Atlantic Ridge or mid ocean Ridge the black line right here going across the map that is our Azores Gibraltar fracture zone and the red lines they account for the fault lines and fracture zones like the horseshoe kind of shape right there between the uh, Strait of Gibraltar between Northern Africa and Europe that is going to be a convergent 
plate boundary right there where the two plates are converging, and the same with the red lines across Italy and Greece and across the Mediterranean Sea going over towards Turkey. Now, there was recent very large earthquakes in Turkey, and this is all part of one big system. So there's been earthquakes in Italy and Greece uh, going through down into um, Portugal and Spain, and of course in Turkey more recently, um, very large earthquakes. It's all one big connected system. Now we see the star here is where the most recent Moroccan earthquake, the epicenter, is, and it's about 70 kilometers southwest of Marrakesh. And Marrakesh is a big city in Morocco, and it has about a million people. So again, the threat of a large casualty rate is very high, unfortunately. And the USGS did put this as a red alert, so they assume it's a very catastrophic earthquake with high numbers of fatalities and injuries so hopefully this is not the case but again based on the data from the earthquake they can only assume what's from the data what's from the numbers so in terms of data this was a uh, evening or nighttime earthquake when it occurred at 11 11 p.m so people were in their houses as you know assumption is they're in their houses and this is a 6.8 magnitude uh, quake in terms of Richter scale and is about 25 kilometers deep and in terms of Macaulay scale which is measures the damage of the shaking and the violence of the shaking this is a nine so it's a very violent earthquake in terms of the shaking uh, even though it's not that big in terms of the magnitude the actual energy released is 6.8 so this is a along a 1,600 kilometer fault line the AGFZ and this obviously involves multiple movements and motions of the plate. We have convergence right around Morocco and Spain and Portugal, and off into the ocean you have more of a strike slip where both plates are sliding past each other in generally the same direction. So this has happened in the past. There was a large earthquake along the same plate boundaries and the same location generally. Uh, in 1755, the Great Lisbon Quake, of 8.1 to 8.9 magnitude. There were other quakes uh, in southern Spain and also in northern Africa in the past. This is not a one-off event. This is a series of geological events, tectonic events that happen over the course of tens or hundreds of thousands of years. And this is the most recent one in Morocco. And I'm sure in the future there'll be, unfortunately, other ones in other parts of southern Europe, the Mediterranean, or even northern Africa. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and maybe hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.